I think you saw me an advert in the uh, in, a, in a magazine. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> I showed it to my wife, and she said, "Why don't you try it?" And I said, "Oh, it won't be any better than anybody else." <laughs> and, then, and then she said, "Oh, give it a go. Give me the phone up and see what happens." Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Philip arrived on our doorstep. Um, um, and he said, well, I can do some shoes for you, don't worry about it. And I was going on holiday to Australia and New Zealand and I wanted some waterproof shoes or boots so that I could do white water rafting. And he said, no problem, he said, I can make you some yeah. out of this new material, it's waterproof. The reason that I need um, specialised footwear is because I have CMT, Charcot Marie Tooth Disease, uh, which has uh, made a very severe deformity of both feet. After a few weeks, and had a fitting, and then he came again with the finished boots, and they were fantastic, and it's changed my life completely. My feet have deteriorated over the last 20 years and they've changed quite a lot and um, and Philip has managed to keep me able to walk. I wouldn't be able to walk if it wasn't for Philip. Over the years um, the National Health Service has tried to make comfortable shoes for me um, through about six different companies and uh, this has never been achieved. Um, and I think the reason is that uh, the orthotist that I've seen from the National Health Service that takes measurements um, can't pass, pass on the instructions to the shoemaker that actually makes the shoes. The shoemaker doesn't actually see the patient. I have had problems with footwear for all, all my life um, until I found uh, Philip Taylor who has been making my shoes for the last 20 years. I can't remember the name of the surgical appliance officer um, lady that uh, had to see every week or every fortnight um, going back with my shoes to be altered. Um, and she was like, well, I used to call her the dragon. She was really very um, school uh, teacher sort of person and said to me that we've done everything we can for you uh, no, nobody else has come back with problems it's only you that comes with these problems finally she said you're not going home in your own in your old boots you're going to go out in these and she put my old ones in a bag made me walk out in, in, in the new shoes and I sat in the corridor for about 15 minutes crying with pain until I could get my other shoes on and I never went back there again. On the first day when a, a customer comes into the workshop yeah. I spend probably a quarter of an hour just talking to them about their lifestyle and trying to understand why they want to have shoes made and it's only after that time where we will take actual measurements. You've understood the problems that I have, not only making the shoes, but being able to um, observe me walking yeah. and make, make shoes that are comfortable for walking in. I'm convinced that because of the deterioration over the last 20 years as well, my deformities got worse. I think uh, I know that I would be d dependent on a wheelchair for 25 or 30 years. I've not been able to stand up without any shoes or boots on because I don't have any strength in yeah. my feet have come completely turn, turned in and I'm walking on the ankles and uh, Philip's allowed me to be able to walk and it has changed my life completely over the last 20 years. You came to me for the first time you, you saw a shoemaker mm. who understood. Mm. I mean if that was rolled out nationally or, or mm. whatever that people in your position mm. with really complex needs mm. I mean, what what difference do you think that would make to people in, in your situation i think first of all the people with complex needs 
um, would be able to have more comfortable footwear um, <coughs> and also it, it would save the National Health Service many hundreds of thousands of pounds in wasted time in trying to um, get comfortable footwear for for, the, for, for, the, for these patients. People ask me why I am so passionate about this. And I have to go back to the very beginning of the story, to that first morning when I was 11 years old, and Peter Shaw gave me this shoehorn. I ran a conference for shoemakers about five years ago. We introduced the whole of the conference to how we all started off making shoes. I told Peter Shaw the story, he remembered it. And he stood up and in front of all, all of my colleagues and our friends, he told me that when I was 11 years old and I was a horrible child, I was, I was going to be expelled. And Peter Shaw told the headmaster, if he expelled me, he would resign. To this day, that is Peter Shaw. And that's why I want things to change for everybody.